This video is going to be breathing in a few different positions. So we'll flow through a few different positions that's going to help you start to use your diaphragm, that big breathing muscle, um, just at the bottom of your ribs there. So first off, what we're going to do, we're going to lie down and we've got our knees bent there. And what you can do, you can put your hands uh, on your lower ribs there for a bit of feedback. And what our goal is while we're breathing in is to breathe out and expand outwards as well, not just breathing with our belly coming up. So what that looks like is when we take a deep breath in and then out. So in, the ribs are expanding to the side and your belly's coming to the top a bit, but we're really focused on that side expansion and then out. Breathing through our nose while we're doing this. So we're going to do three to five breaths at least. Nice and slow in here. Once we've done this position, we can put our hands up towards the ceiling. And as we breathe in to help us focus on that um, sideways expansion, we're going to use our hands as well. So breathing in and then out. So as we breathe in, the hands go apart. As we breathe out, the hands come in together. So breathing in and out. Again, three to five in this position. Then the next thing that you're going to do is bring your legs up. So just holding them up here gives you a bit more pressure to work against um, in your abdomen. And again, you need to have your arms up or arms down by your side on the ribs um, to feel for that sideways expansion um, so again in that position do three to five breaths and once you've done that we'll move to the next position so we're going to roll over onto our bellies and so that's going to lock down the front um, of your ribs and really make you uh, breathe more through those lower ribs as well so from there what you'll do you breathe in and out you can use your hands again for feedback really feeling for that sideways expansion and then after we've done that what we're going to do is go into this position here so on all fours um, you can be on your hands or on your fists whatever's more comfortable um, and it's going to look a lot like that cat cow thing people do in yoga, but what you're going to do is with arching your back uh, in this direction, then you're going to try and breathe in. It's going to be really difficult because you won't be able to breathe into the top part of your chest in this position, but it'll help expand out on the sides, which is what we're aiming for. And then at, to breathe out, you go to the opposite. So arching the back down and breathing out. So in. And out. Again, three to five times in this position. And then, what you'll, then what you'll do is come down onto, um, sit back into this position, stretch your arms out, and again in this position, so breathing in, and then out. Again, three to five here. Then what you can do is stretch your arms out to one side, look uh, between your arms and breathe in. So that's going to be expanding one side, out, and the other side, and out. So again, three to five in each position. Then once you've done that, you can do the last one. So this one's going to be in what we call a bear crawl position. So from here, what we'll do, we'll arch and bend the back a few times until we feel like we can get, get, get it to a nice straight position. Um, and then once we're straight there, we'll just hover our knees up off the ground for a moment. And from that position, we'll be breathing. So breathing in and out. So in each position, try to do three to five breaths, uh, nice and controlled. And do go, go through each of these um, positions three times. So ideally doing this three times a day as well will be fantastic to... Uh, get that breathing going and really focusing on that diaphragm. It'll help with that rib mobility down there as well. Give it a go, see how it feels.